If you use a sliding table saw, be careful, it's not just the blade that can hurt you. I'm going to talk to you about this recent accident and a few others where I narrowly escaped serious injury. You know, it's been said many times by woodworkers that the table saw is the most dangerous piece of equipment in your workshop. Back when I was an apprentice, maybe 18 years old, I was cutting some cedar shims on a table saw and I was picking a shim out from behind the blade and I nicked my finger on the blade. And uh, fortunately it wasn't too serious, but it was still a nasty cut and it's one of the best lessons I ever learned. Uh, and it, since then I've been so careful around that blade. But the problem with the table saw is not only the blade that can hurt you. Yesterday I had a little mishap here in the shop. I was simply pushing this Euro slider forward on the saw and instead of having my hand here on the handle, I had my hand like this and I had one of my fingers hanging over the edge and when the slider went forward it clipped on this uh, metal uh, steel track and really did a fair bit of damage to my uh, finger. I've ended up going to the hospital and I've got three stitches and this splint but I've also got a chip bone on my finger and the whole purpose of this uh, video is to just remind those that have these kinds of saws to be careful where you put your hands. Now when it happened um, it was really nasty it kind of took the end of my finger kind of clipped a chunk of the flesh off and it was hanging on by a little bit of skin. My helper couldn't even look uh, but me being me, I wrapped it up with a couple of band-aids and continued on working. Well, after supper the, last night, I found I had so much throbbing pain, my wife convinced me to go to the hospital and had x-rays and now you know the rest of the story. But just uh, be careful on these saws that your hands are nowhere near this area here on the back of the track and uh, you know, use proper care. The other thing I want to talk about is kickback. And I'm going to show you a hole in my wall over here where this saw grabbed a little chunk of maple and fired it through the through the wall at so, such a speed that uh, it would not have been fun had I been standing behind the blade. I've also got a ding on my finger here. You can see the black fingernail where uh, I had kickback cutting a little cedar shim on a, a small portable table saw. So we'll talk about those things and hopefully I can prevent you from hurting yourself uh, that doesn't involve the blade. Well, accidents happen for a number of different reasons. Of course, carelessness being the one on the top of the list, but the others are lack of training. So people that are very new to the trade or to the craft, uh, when they don't know how to operate the equipment, uh, can have accidents. But in my case, it's uh, complacency is the villain. So you do a thing so many times uh, and you get so comfortable with the tool and the circumstances have always worked out uh, good before, uh, that's when you have an accident and you end up hurting yourself. In the case of the uh, kickback that I had that shot the piece of maple like a javelin into the wall here, uh, I was trimming down a piece of maple and instead of putting the larger portion of the of the maple against the fence so I could push it through with the push stick, I had the narrow piece against near the fence and therefore I couldn't use the push stick. So once I pushed say a four inch piece through the the saw taking off, you know, five eighths of an inch between the blade and the fence, once that main piece was free of the blade, that blade grabbed that small little piece of maple and fired it, as you saw, right through the wall. The, the better way to do it is make sure that your push stick can free that piece of material from between the fence and the blade completely and turn the saw off. In the case where I'm cutting the cedar shingle on the table saw, you saw the kickback there that occurred uh, what happened, and I didn't get the one that injured me on film, of course, uh, the saw blade was a little bit too high 
and I was trying to make too drastic of a turn cutting freehand with the table saw and that table saw grabbed that material and shot it back smacked my left hand so hard that uh, it really was very painful and you saw a little uh, black fingernail and that's like almost a month ago and I still have that black fingernail. What a better plan would have been to use a jigsaw for that application. Now one of the things that would have prevented that accident with the cedar shingle is a product by FastCap called a 10 million dollar stick and I think they also have a million dollar stick but you can use that to hold the material in place if there's any risk of, of kickback and that's that's a really good uh, product to have probably buy a few of them and put them by your saws and I'll leave a link in the uh, description for fast cap thank you for watching the video my intent as I mentioned was to uh, prevent other people from getting injured uh, with the same circumstances and uh, also a reminder for myself if you have any tips for me or any comments, please leave them in the comments section and I will be sure and answer them. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks very much. Music.